This is News Trail, your daily dose. Hello there and thanks for connecting. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to News Trail this Thursday, 6th May 2021. I am Aditola Kayode. You're welcome. The remaining 29 students abducted from Kaduna State have regained freedom. Chairman of the Parents Committee, Abdullahi Usman, confirms the release but refused to disclose the amount paid as ransom to the bandits. On March 11, the bandits invaded the school located along Airport Road, Kaduna, and abducted 39 of the students. Ten of them were released in two batches of five after the parents reportedly paid 17 million naira ransom a couple of weeks after. Usman described the release release of the students as a big relief to parents who, according to him, have been emotionally traumatized since the incident took place. The parents had on Tuesday protested at the National Assembly in Abuja. Nigeria's power sector is set for a boost as the Federal Executive Council approved 6.2 billion naira for a number of contracts under the Ministry of Power. The minister, Maman Saleh, says the projects aimed at upgrading the transmission system to the national grid include a word of contract for design, manufacturing and supply of critical spare parts, procurement of battery banks and the contract for the design, manufacturing power transformers with accessories. The minister, after the council meeting also revealed that the ministry is almost done with the distribution of 1 million meters at promised Nigerians. Chelsea is set for their third Champions League and will face Manchester City in the finals after convincingly overcoming Real Madrid at Stamford Bridge. Timo Werner headed in from close range to give Chelsea the initial 1-0 lead at the 28th minute, while Mason Mount delivered the second goal that sealed the team's victory 85 minutes into the match. Former U.S. President Donald Trump's ban from Facebook and Instagram has been upheld by Facebook's oversight board, at least for six months for now. It, however, criticized the permanent nature of the ban as beyond the scope of Facebook's normal penalties. It therefore ordered Facebook to review the decision and justify a proportionate response supplied to everyone, including ordinary users. The former president was banned from both social media sites in January following the Capitol Hill riots. And that's it on News Troll for today. Many thanks for connecting. You can please help the News Troll community grow by sharing, liking, subscribing, and of course by telling someone to tell someone about your daily dose. News Trail. Connect again tomorrow for a fresh package. Have a lovely one.